Ooh, thermodynamics problem. All right, so AB is an isobaric expansion, right? Uh, BC is an isochoric, or sometimes we call them constant volume uh, cooling, right? It's not an expansion or a compression, right? Okay, which by the way means that the work is zero, right? And then uh, CA allegedly is an isothermal compression. Okay. Okay, so for the isobaric expansion AB, calculate the temperature at A and B. All right, so for A and B, what you're going to do is you're going to, um, to find the temperature at A anyway, right, you're going to go uh, pressure at A, volume at A equals N, and we know what N is, right, uh, times R times T of A, right? So, so we know everything. We know the pressure at A, right, because we can read the graph. In fact, we're told what it is, right? Okay, at A, we have that. We can also read the graph, right? So we know pressure, volume, we know N, we know R is 8.31, assuming you have your data packet, right? I thought that was funny, right? And so you can solve for TA, right? And, and you're going to get this, right? Now, you could do the same thing, right? You could read this pressure at B. It doesn't, they don't say in the problem what it is, right? But it's, it, the pressure is uh, 12 times 10 to the fifth, and then the volume is 4 times 10 to the minus third, right? So you could do that and just do this again, right? But of course, the other thing you can do is, is this is uh, one liter, right? This is four liters, and the pressure is the same, so therefore you must have quadrupled the temperature. So you can just multiply. Notice that that's just four times this, okay? Um, and that's just fine. So you could just take temperature A, temperature B is gonna be four times that, okay? Calculate the work done by the gas. You're gonna use work is pressure, times change in volume. Remember to use the change in volume, which is from four, one to four, right? So the change is positive three liters, and then the pressure is 12 times 10 to the fifth pascals, right? Okay. Um, calculate the change in internal energy of the gas. Two ways you can do that. You can go uh, change in U is three halves and R change in T, and you have the two temperatures there, right? So you could do that, uh, but of course you can also say, since NRT is PV, you can also do three halves P delta V, right? And since you've already calculated P delta V, can't you just go three halves times the answer you just got there? I'm just saying, boy, that's what it is. There you go. And then calculate the thermal energy that flows into the gas, right? This is the work. This is the change in U, and remember that Q is equal to change in U plus work, right? Mmm, I see the pattern.